now we'll see about BDC for table control with CTU underscore params that is called as call transition using parameter string CTU underscore params is a structure which we can see in SC11 as I explained the full form of CTU underscore params is call transition using parameter string so different parameters in these structures are like the display mode which we use in the BDC like N that is the background mode A is call transition in which system display all the screens we have mode E that is the error mode update that is synchronous or synchronous cat mode and default size this is very important from this session I'm going to use and explain what is default size and one more important parameter is no batch input most of the time if some program if you are running BDC in the background mode system behave differently comparing to same BDC in the foreground mode so in that case we can use this make use of this field that is no batch input the default size is used most of the time when we do the recording in the while the recording the screen size is different when but when you're executing the recording it's behave differently this will understand in this session so last I had done the recording for the T code that is called as VD51 and we have seen in the table control for each record system was showing that field as 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 on the screen so now we will see in this session how system behave differently in different transition co uh, code for the table control so I will be recording here VA01 generally sales for recording is not done through BDC but there might be some scenario where we have very straightforward procedure like we don't have to do any pricing if all pricings are coming automatically based on the condition record and we have to enter only limited data on the screen like the sales area the sales uh, sold to party material and quantity etc so if we have a very limited field on the screen then we can go for the recording even for VA01 so now we will understand what is the difference between the last session and this session so for the recording go to T code SHDB here click on new recording let ZVA01 TC or let's give name CTU call transition using parameters in transition code I'm giving here as VA01 enter here I'm entering my order type ZOR sales organization distribution channel and division here I'm entering my sold to party now also this is screen now here I'm entering my first material that is ID2 quantity I'm entering here too I also want to enter my WBS element here on this screen there is one WBS field I enter my WBS now the cursor moves to second position now I'm entering line item 20 line item 20 I'm entering as ID3 my quantity will be 5 again I'm going to enter a WBS element and I'm pressing enter now I'm pressing the next material that is 4 ok let me enter quantity quantity as 10 
and I am entering again WBS here. One more line item, okay. Here yeah. we will go with one more line item again with same metal, three quantity. And I am entering here the WBS element. Now, here on this screen, I have entered four line items. For the first line item, system position cursor position was at the line one then every time it was showing the second lines okay now i done with my recording i'm clicking on the save button okay so i done with my recording now here if you see this is the first one that is the matnar one after the first line item from second onwards every time it is showing only 0 to this was my second material but here this was my third material but here also system is showing 0 to in last session every time it was increasing with 0 1 0 to 0 3 but here for the first one it was 0 1 but from second onwards it is 0 2 only okay Save, select the recording, click on create program, give the recording name as, uh, program name as ZVS01 BTC CTU, call on the changing parameter, transfer from recording, enter, BTC for VS01. I am saving as local object. This is the default code. We have already done many sessions on this. So I am not going to explain all again. What I will do? I will just break into different screen. This is the default recording. This is the first screen. Second screen. And this all on the one screen okay now if you see here for the first material the cursor position was line up one okay this was a material code i enter the quantity two and the wbs then the second material for second material it was zero two then for third material, even though the material ID is different, but the system position was 0 to only. Okay. So I'm just dividing into different part. For this was the third material, but the position is 0 to and the last material here. Okay. Now save check activate now if i'm executing the same recording as it is see the difference call transition mode is a execute this was the initial screen see now see this screen when you have done the recording there was a very small screen or a small window was there okay and we were able to see only the two line items, first two rows. Okay, but same program, same recording. When I am again executing, it is showing a different screen. Okay, now see what error comes with this. I am pressing enter. This is the first line item. Now, this is my second line item. Okay, till here it is okay. Now, as soon as I press enter, so here if you see. The same line item is overwritten with the third material. Okay. Let me press again enter. Now you can see the same line item, line item 2, is overwritten with the four line item. This is because when we have done the recording, the screen appearance was different. 
and when I'm executing it, it is behaving in a different way. Now, how to solve this? To solve this issue, we make use of C2 parameter. I'm not going to save this order. Okay, go back. Now here, at the top, add one work area. That is data. Let's say gs underscore parent s type ctu underscore parent s. Okay. Declare one work area of this type. And this method is used only with the call transaction method. As the name indicate, call transaction using. Okay. So we have to change our concept with call transition method. Now here, I will change this logic. Let's say gs underscore params display mode. Let's say here I am going with the A mode only. Second, gs underscore param. What are the second parameter which I want to use? Update mode. I'll be going with asynchronous. That is the update mode. That is asynchronous. Third parameter I'm going to use here is the default size. Okay, DF size, which is very important from this session. parameter default size here we have to pass x okay this is the mode a e n whatever you want to pass we can also pass this from the selection screen the mode i want to pass here as a and this is the important default size equal to x now here we have to do call transition which tickle you want to call VL01 using BTC data. We have already seen what is BTC data. One second. And after using BTC data, we have to use options from GS underscore params. Okay, no need to use update mode and all these things save check activate what i have done first i have declared a structure of ct underscore param type then i have added this code gs underscore param display mode this we can also pass from selection screen update mode and the default size this is important now we will see what is what system is doing after adding this parameter go to change mode okay first i have to comment this i don't require this now because i will already call i will code here call transition va01 execute a mode no if, no impact of this zor 1024 2424 enter. Now see the screen. Till we have not added that parameter, it was showing a different big screen. Now, once we added that parameter that is default size equal to x, it is showing the same screen which was there at the time of recording. So, this will behave in the same way which we have done at the time of recording. Okay, I am pressing enter. See, this is the first line item. MWS element. As soon as pent, uh, press enter, this is my second line item. Now again I enter. Now you can see here the 4. The material ID is 4. That is third line item. Again I am pressing enter. Now you can see 30. Above this line, there are 3 line items already there. And this is my fourth one. Enter. Now I am clicking on the save. This is the user command for save SICH. The sales order 145 successfully created. 
go to VA03. See, says what is created with four line terms. Okay. In the item where you can see all the four line terms, 40. This means four line terms are created. Okay, so this is the main difference. If you found that your screen is performing differently at the time of recording and we're executing, then kindly add the CTU parameters and do the required changes in the coding. Okay, so I have shown only this coding in the concept because the remaining part, how to add the internal table, how to upload the file that we already covered in the previous session. So main purpose was of showing how to add this parameter on the screen. So we have successfully seen what is the difference if you are not adding this parameter and after adding the parameter. So in this way and then with this session that is how to handle table control with CTU underscore params. Thank you.